Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Cambo Outdoors. I know it's been a while, uh, I apologize for the wait, but uh, ice fishing season this year, uh, yeah, it was it was really rough for me, at, at, at least personally, it was very rough. Um, but yeah, with that being said, today we're actually going to get out on some trout today, hopefully, and um, we're going to go to a couple of my favorite spots, you know, check them out, use a couple of baits, go through some different things, and uh, yeah, hopefully we get something today, so uh, stay tuned. Alrighty, we're here under a little bridge. We're gonna try to get some action, hopefully. Looks a little shallow over here though, so we might end up moving pretty quickly. <laughs> Birds under that. I didn't expect that. Two, three. I haven't seen any fish out here. I haven't either. I might not waste a lot of time here, honestly. The stairs of death, look at that. Alrighty, let's do it. Oh, this one. Actually, yeah, it was that one. Oh, that one's really loose down there. <laughs> it was on the bridge? Oh. Uh -huh. Hey guys, going down this steep hill again because I had to run back up with my tackle box. It's pretty steep. A little slick too. Alright guys, so I put on a little uh a sting eye, a little uh, spinner bait with an eyeball down there. I've never used these, but I got it in my mystery tackle box. So, you know, if one mystery tackle box lure catches fish, the other one should as well. That dude gunned it. I haven't eaten it. Maybe switch to a crankbait?
already, guys. So I kind of went with my own combo this time. I grabbed a um, a Z-Man little uh, minnow that I got in the trout box, mystery tackle box. And I combined it with one of the tungstens that I got from my winter ice fishing box. Now, I know it sounds crazy, but it looks like it's going to work. I've been swimming around in the water. It looks really, really well presentation-wise. So let's see what we get. hit the bottom Ooh. Felt like something tapped it. Get it back into here. Ooh. Oh, I'm stuck. Really? I'm surprised I got stuck. I must be caught on like a little, like a log. Yeah, it feels pretty, uh, damn. I thought that was a fish. I really did. almost died yesterday <laughs> all that mud <clears throat> last eight and a half minutes one two three four five Two, three, four, five. Can you like so that one's just following my bait? A trout? Yeah, I literally just saw a rainbow. Cool. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I just hit something. Ooh, got one. A little guy. Oh, it's a brook trout. Let's go, my first brook trout. Guys, my first brook trout. Let's go. Yes. Yo, you're a crazy bastard, huh? Let's go. Look at that, guys. I know it's upside down, but my first brookie. Hell yeah, let's go. That's awesome. Look at that. 
nice coloring on it. That's actually my first brook ever. And I got my first brown at this same spot yesterday. Awesome. Let's get this guy back in the water. Bye. Isn't that cool coloring? Yeah. All right, my guys. So real quick, I hope you guys enjoyed that uh, brook trout. I, I certainly did. I know it wasn't anything big or special, but it was my first catch of a brook trout. So I thought it was really awesome. Um, but with that being said, uh, I did catch another fish actually. Um, it was a very, very good sized uh, rainbow trout. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna say, uh, if you guys forget your nets at home and you get to the lake and you just say, well, I don't really wanna drive home, you know, one time's not gonna hurt, we'll be good. Yeah, um, no, always go back and get your net. I am always gonna have my net now, I know personally, because, uh, yeah, well, you guys will see. It, it's a very short clip, but uh, yeah, here you go. Well, I hope you guys really enjoyed that uh, video of probably the best fish I would have actually had on this video. Um, I, I did pull it out of the water though, so you can't really say that I, I didn't catch it, but I mean, you, you think what you want to think, but uh, it, it was a good fish. I'm a little disappointed in myself for not bringing my net. Shame on me. Um, we talked about that already though. Um, but yeah, with that being said, I did actually go trout fishing the day before I shot this video and I brought my GoPro with me and um, I actually caught a very nice uh, little brown trout. That's my first time catching a brown trout as well. So within two days, I caught a rainbow trout, a brown trout, and a brook trout. That's awesome. All I have left on my list is a tiger trout and that would really make my spring. That would be awesome. So um, I'm going to attach that clip down here and uh, enjoy that. I got some. Yep, I got a trout. Let's go. Get in the bow. Oh, it's my first brown. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, baby. My first brown. How you like that for Cambo Outdoors? Yeah. Hell yeah. Well, thank you guys for watching today. I hope you really enjoyed the video. And um, like I said before, I'm sorry for the wait for the second video, but the ice season was, uh, it was a little rough for me, unfortunately. But um, yeah, this trout fishing, man, it's looking up for the spring. So I was really excited to get out there and I made it happen. So I'm going to be trying to push out a video at least once per week for you guys. So uh, yeah, please stay tuned. Drop a like and a subscribe. Every supporter really, really matters. And uh, I'll see you guys again shortly. Thank you.